reside in Niyamu. Nobody will do that. Now, why should he waste our own resources to build a house, 10 billion naira worth of a house in a village? What is he using it for? If anybody says it's a lie, the house is in existence, you can visit there. I have taken one agency, Code of Conduct Blue, I must be specifically, to show him the property. The Code of Conduct Blue has a photograph of the property. If they are doubting my own. All the properties I have, including the one of Okoroton Street, that he took from the University of Benin and paid a pin note to the Edo State Government, 23 million naira, that he acquired all the buildings he demolished and the land. A land in that environment is more than 100 and something million. It should change us again. And that value of that house is more than 500 million naira. As at the time I wrote the petition, I'm not talking of today. So you can see that so many things have been done by him. Comparing his salary as a governor, executive governor in the district, his salary is 600, I mean 600,000 naira a month. Times 6,000 naira a month by eight years. He cannot build one mansion. So from that is true. Uh, brothers and sisters, share this video. Uh, he, has get, he has get to the point that uh, we all should be asking a question. Where is Nigeria headed to? So I want you to listen once again. And share. Of his children will leave America and where they are to go and reside in Niyamu. Nobody will do that. Now, why should he waste our own resources to build a house, 10 billion naira worth of a house in a village. What is he using it for? If anybody says it's a lie, the house is in existence, you can visit there. I have taken one agency, Code of Conduct Blue, I must be specifically, to show him the property. The Code of Conduct Blue has a photograph of the property. If they are doubting my own. All the properties I have, including the one of Okoroton Street, that he took from the University of Benin and paid a pin note to the Edo State Government, 23 million naira, that he acquired all the buildings he demolished and the land. A land in that environment is more than 100 and something million. It should change us again. And that value of that house is more than 500 million naira. As at the time I wrote the petition, I'm not talking of today. So you can see that so many things have been done by him. Comparing his salary as a governor, executive governor of the district, his salary is 600, I mean 600,000 naira a month. Times 6,000 naira a month by eight years. He cannot build one mansion. Okay. So from uh, that is, uh, as you can see, brothers and sisters, uh, I am out this night, this afternoon in United States, broadcasting live from PFM uh, World Headquarters, Dallas, Texas, uh, uh, APC, 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 <laughs> APC. Uh, so, I want to play this right quick. I want everyone to listen and listen very good. Uh, it has come to a point that uh, we, the innocent poor citizen, become irrelevant in our own country. And then uh, I am going to show you people what happened, what you will not see in another place. Uh, this was sent to me directly from uh, Abuja today. What actually took place at the uh, APC uh, event center. Uh, anyway, I want to thank uh, People's Freedom Movement members worldwide. I have not even do my sharing. Uh, God bless you, Destiny. Mm. Uh, however, I am going to quickly play this for everyone to really see what is happening in Nigeria. And uh, 
Nigeria has become a place of a place that whereby anything goes. Shomule uh, uh, have done it again. They have done it again. Shomule have done what he knows has to do best. <laughs> uh, Jesus Christ. Oshomule have done it again. Uh, I'm going to quickly show you all this. Let me be sure this is uh, this is not exactly the video. Let me go ahead and Oshomule, <laughs> Oshomule, Oshomule. Uh, hmm. We are not going to say much. Uh, the little we're going to talk about right now is the reality of the the reality of APC convention, which they are not going to tell anyone. Uh, so I'm going to let you all listen to this in a few minutes while we do the sharing. <laughs> Okay, that was uh, people decamping from uh, APC today. Uh, I think they decamped to PDP. Uh, that is uh, food is ready decamping. They always decamp back and forth like uh, uh, Honorable E.J. Agbonima, uh, Igo, and Ikubaha Federal Constituency Repetitive. Uh, I am going to show you a video of what happened in Abuja today. <sighs> oh God, <laughs> Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. You think you are seeing it all. Uh, I'm trying to share my video, brothers and sisters, go ahead and do yours as well. Okay. I am going to show people what actually happened in Abuja. Today in Abuja, as we understand, this is President Mega Comrade Investigator Clement Iranomigo Edebe, the open leader of People Freedom Movement worldwide, commander in chief of the defenseless and the voiceless, the tiger and the lion combined. And I'm also the president of innocent poor citizen. Underline that word. I will never compromise our innocent poor citizen for anything. That is one thing that I guarantee. No matter what, no matter how deep the ocean is, I guarantee you one day we're going to overcome it. No matter how high the hill is, we will climb at the end we will all get there together. There ain't no power in this world that belongs to someone forever. Who could have thought today? I repeat, who could have thought today? That Captain 
total damage. Osa Okumbo will be overnight automatic billionaire when he was working for Okada Air as a pilot captain. When Igberedion slapped him many years ago, Katosa returned the slap. Katosa has no respect for senior. According to the information that I gathered today, up to last night, Oshomule sniffed cocaine worth almost $5,000 with his counterpart, Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State. Oshomule continued to hide. According to a reliable source, Oshomule, even in the eve of APC, Oshomule and Obaseki were still high. How long the youth is going to allow this to continue? Do you know the cost of crack cocaine? Do you know the cost? The cost of a little bit of crack cocaine? Do you know the cost? How long? Now, Obaseki, according to them, Obaseki did everything. He spent a do state money. To make sure Adam Oshomule came out on a pose as APC national chairman. Can you imagine? It's only a country where baboons, monkeys, chimpanzees, gorillas, rules. That is the only country you will have somebody like Adam Ali Oshomule as big as Nigeria, 180 million plus. <laughs> on a pose on a pose can somebody tell me the meaning of on a pose one person will just come out I want to become the chairman of Nas APC national chairman everyone will say oh yes it's you we cannot fight you why I will tell you that is the same reason that is how Oshomule Bismato Pastor Osage is a Yamo. And I want to tell people today the only person you don't bet in fighting are short people. I, I wish I wasn't taller than Oshomule. I would have loved it more. I wish I was shorter than Oshomule. The only person you don't bet that you want to fight is short people. Because short men will come with everything they have on you. Nobody dare try crackhead national chairman of APC. As you understand, he imported thugs, terrorists into Abuja, e.g., Tony Kabaka, Abetu, and others. They were all in Abuja, they were enjoying the dust state money, they were all laughing. Wah, 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 wah. To hell with all those poor citizens. Those European poor people that believe on us, gullible follower. Wah, 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 wah. Those Canadians, Americans base, to hell with them. We are the movers and shakers in Nigeria. We are going to use our social media platform, Crack Team, to misinform them, to color the good things of a do state. Foolish enough, a lot of we, a lot of you people, will fall into it. Propaganda is always good. When you are doing propaganda, you know, trying to sell yourself to people, you know you are not doing a good job. When Oshomule came into power, when he came into power, <laughs> he don't need to do propaganda, he was working until... That time, Oshomule was AC. Oshomule was not APC. Ever since Oshomule become APC, all he did, he loot and loot and loot and continue to embezzle and loot. Oshomule have loot a, a lot of people's dreams. Today, Oshomule become all problem creator national chairman. 
Then, 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 politics. It don't start. Oshemule only know one thing. One thing is how to ring election. And this will be a warning to all candidates that as I'm speaking today, Oshemule have gathered, Tunibu have gathered, a no PVC, a no PVC that will carry Mohamed Buhari to the next level. What are APDP doing? What are the rest party doing? Nothing. They just making noise. It's not over. Can you imagine in Abuja, President Mohamed Buhari was there sitting down. He was there sitting down when all these things were happening. You know what I'm saying? Mohamed Buhari was there sitting down. Let me quickly let me quickly show you people. Another one. You're going to be shocked. <clears throat> you cannot believe this. There's even one. When they were even singing, uh, whatever they were singing. <laughs> okay, let me show you this. You will never see this. They will never show you this. APC propaganda machine. You can see, brothers and sisters, mega community. You said MC Tabai. Uh, let me go back to this. Uh, mega community did not create this. This is this is APC. They created this on their own. You know what I'm saying? Why do we have to be concerned about this? My heart is bleeding. I cannot say much today. There's too many stuff in my mind, in my heart. It's like we are struggling, fighting very hard to move our country forward. Right in our eye, we see our country going down the drain. How long are we going to continue this? If Adam Ali Oshomule and Obaseki become the best candidate to rule Nigeria. <laughs> hey, <who? laughs> uh, what started like a joke? A lot of people thought it was a joke. It can never happen. It's no longer a joke. If Adam Oshomule and Obaseki can be the best candidate to lead Nigeria. We innocent children. Where Adam Ali Oshomule came from, Obaseki came from. They are schooling on that the rain. Video talk. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the West Summer School. Just give me a second. Ladies and gentlemen. This is uh, Arosa Primary School in the heart of Benin, Apapaba Road. I'm here this morning because I came to pack my car at the compound and I saw some children. So I thought maybe it was an abandoned school. Only for me to find out that uh, it's a functional school and kids are actually having class. Right now they're in break. As you can see, it's raining and this is a class where people are. This is a class where people are taking children are taking lecture in the right in the heart of Benin. This is a class where children are taking lectures. Something like this is not good. This is not good at all. The government has to come to the rescue of this school right now because this is appalling. This is really, really appalling. Children are inside the rain. Children are inside the rain taking classes in this school. This is, this is, this is an embarrassment to us. This is an embarrassment to Nigeria. This is wrong. This is completely wrong. This is the school. I was shocked to find out that this is a school where children take classes. You know, that's a school where children take lectures. I mean, uh, I'm, I'm short of words. I'm really, really short of words. I'm, I'm shocked. You know? Come on, let's break. One on a class. This one is for the first one. I want to take class over here. 
dry. So you see, everywhere is raining and the kids have nowhere to go to. So a lot of them are outside because they cannot even have the, there's no practically no roof over their head anymore. You know, and this is this is supposed to be a school. This is supposed to be a school. This is really <laughs> really, 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 really shocking. You know, as long as the kids are outside, because the rain has driven them from their classes, there are no chairs, there are no tables. Um, okay, that is one school. Yeah, there's no floor for them to sit down. That is one school. You know, this, this is, is a, another one. This is a, again, I want to show you. school name again? Only Arosa Primary School. Only Arosa Primary School. Okay, let me show you another one. Here is another school. This is a door state. This I hope they just hand over the key of uh, APC. This is another school. Hold on. This is school in Benin City. We can see governor. We can see. Look at it. Look at it. Do you see? You see a big forest inside a classroom. This is we can see governor. Look at it. It's called we can kill. Wait, let me tell you why I am crying. Thanks. Look at it. This is cool in Benin City. Edo State, look at it. This is cool. Those that are supporting them, sending them money, look at the schools. Look at it. This is schools. This is cool. This is cool in Edo State. This is where Osho, what Oshomule left behind and Obaseki abandoned it. My hand is paining me. I have a lot of picture. This is cool. You see that? I mean, that is that is not bad. That is not bad enough. Hold on. Let me show you something right quick. <laughs> you think you have seen it all? You haven't seen anything. Just let me show you something right quick. Uh, I think I'm gonna bring it out right now. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe this. I cannot. <laughs> uh, what, you just think you have seen it all. Uh, uh, this is just the beginning. Kevedian will be rich. This is in Benin City. This is where can see governor. Let me le hold on. Give me a second. Let me let me put it right. You're gonna you're gonna hear it. Watch. So, this is Benin City. I will tell you the reason why I'm showing it. Okay, all right. I'm here with Mr. Kola. I'm here with Mr. Kola. I'm here with. Okay. Okay. This is uh, Tom Line River. 
at Uselu, that is Uselu Park. Yeah, Uselu Park, yeah, Uselu Park. We are going to ask ourselves where is the 30 billion Naira project that the state government, award, the, the ex uh, governor, uh, Oshomole, awarded. I think uh, we are here at uh, Tom Lai River. And we have a lot of persons here that have lost uh, their houses. A lot of them have uh, uh, run away from this place. I think we are, we are going to ask ourselves where is the 30 billion naira project? I'm here with Mr. Paul. I want you to underline that word 30 billion naira. 30 billion naira. You have to get 1 million to 100 million. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Into 100. Into 200, 300 million, 400, 500, 600 million, 700 million, 999 million. Plus one, we make it one billion. Not one, not two, not three. 30 billion. I'm here with Mr. Collar. I'm here with, okay, okay. This is a uh, Tom Lai River at Uselu, that is Uselu Park. Yeah, Uselu Park, yeah, Uselu Park. We are going to ask ourselves, where is the 30 billion Naira project that the state government, uh, what the, the ex-governor, uh, uh, Oshomole, awarded. I think uh, we are here at uh, Tom Lai River, and we have a lot of persons here that have lost, uh, there are houses, a lot of them have uh, uh, run away from this place. I think we are, we are going to ask ourselves where is the 30 billion naira project? Okay. This is a uh, that is the Tom Light. That is the Tom Light. You look at the place, it's not quite long, it's not up to 30 minutes. Where it's not up to 30 minutes, uh, uh, the rain, the rain fed in this place, but look at it. I think we are going to ask ourselves, where is the 30 billion? Okay, go and look at that map. It started building water. This is, this is who I they give the key of, of Nigeria to. A lot to. of them, a lot of them have run away from Edo their state. houses. There is no, they don't have home to stay again. I think the state government should see this place. And this is not called for. We are going to ask ourselves, where is the 30 billion Naira project? The water control that the, earth, uh, the uh, Oshomole administrator constructed in this place. I think we are going to start asking ourselves. The video is too long. You can see 30 billion. 30 billion with the bill. According to reliable source, who was an Abuja APC member, gave me an information that Opaseki spent billions, billions, to support Oshomole in order for him to win APC national chairman. Knowing fully well, four years of APC national chairman will guarantee him re election in Edo State. This is what I call poor way. I told you Obaseki was a Ponzi scheme master, an architect. Where did Obaseki get these billions? Edo State money. Look at my face. I'll be crying. I am not crying because I'm hungry. I am not crying because my life is bad. I am crying that I cannot do it without the support of the youth. I am crying that people are, they are hearing, but they are not listening. I am crying because they left this garden job for me and people freedom movement to be doing, but everybody else or any other person want to come and reap the fruit of PFM labor. That 
That is why I'm crying. Sometimes we think we have hope. But when you go down the road, you go down the road, you see where we think there's hope, hope might not come from there. Then you see that is all deja vu all over again. How long are we going to continue this? How long are we going to allow this to happen? For a country to be hijacked by Kaba and with thugs Kaba, terrorist Kabas, everyone is afraid. They want to give it a, a cheap shot at Suwari. And I want to make one thing clear. Omo Yele Suwari have never, never governed in any, in any state in Nigeria. Omo Yele Suwari did not eat any money from councillor, from chairman, from House of Assembly, from governor, from Federal House of Representatives, from Senate or any other position in Nigeria. So for those, when I saw one video today, it break my heart. That is when I know that Edo people are bad. A lot of them. A lot of Edo people are really bad. Why do we hate the truth? Why do we hate the truth? If you want to make yourself popular, you want people to recognize you. Come out like I did. Come out, support Omoy Elisha Wari. Come out, support him. Tell him what he did wrong and tell him what he did right. When I came out, before I even met Shore, share this video, I was already telling them God fund me is not a source of fundraising. It is not good. I have used it. I know how it is. God for me collect 10% from you, 10% from the donor, making it 20%. It is too much. The first day I met Shore, I put this on the table. You have to get Nigeria account. Thank God Almighty. I stress all through. I fought for two things. I told them, I am here. I am not a professor in engineer. I am a prophet of freedom, a professor in security. I am mega comrade, the president of innocent poor citizen, commander in chief of the defenseless and the voiceless, the tiger and the lion combined. A man of no bagger. This is what I have brought on the table. Are you going to be for the poor? I am concerned about the poor. To hell with the rich people. I was told yes. Then I told them, get Nigeria bank account whereby the poor can be able to donate 5,000, 1,000, 2,000. They did it. The second thing, release a party within nothing, two weeks. We want to know the party you're going to run on. We don't care if it's pure water party. I let them know. And I told the strategy team, if you, this one get up, I'm a doctor. The other one get up and say, this is doctor, doctor, doctor. Okay. I we we the poor citizen. If a more election will then lose this election, we will hold you people accountable for it. Not Omoyele. No Shuwari. We will hold you people accountable. And I have their I know them. I have their pictures. We will publish your picture. We will publish your family picture. We will make sure you will you will not even go to Nigeria because you have destroyed the hope of the innocent poor citizen. This agony we have been going through, you have completely damaged it, and we will not tolerate it. I let them know. If you know that. You are doing this. Take it back. Just for you to rise. Let us know. They say no. 
If you are in to win, fine. I am there to support you. We the poor citizen will support you. I make myself clear enough. I make myself clear enough to the academia. They are academia, doctors, Silicon Valley. I told them. Later on, I check. Me, I don't want to bother Shogure. Shogure is is like he went to, he always go to town hall. Nobody open. He open, he close. Which I have expressed to them privately. But it seems like the academia, they are not listening. So-called academia, which I call pamphlet doctors, pamphlet degrees. Common sense is not common. All talk, no action. They know how to talk the talk, rap the right, but they don't know how to get the job done. If a son of a poor man, a son of a poor woman, who did not even able to pay for his wife resort before leaving Nigeria, is able to challenge, took a, a whole innocent poor citizen, rise up and be fighting for the poor. What make you that call yourself academia? You cannot do what a poor man is doing. That is one side. A day will come for that. I want you to mark this video. Mark today's date. Share this video. Share it. God forbid. God forbid. If Omo Yele Shewure did not come out as the president of Nigeria 2019, we are not going to blame it on anybody but that that carcass. That is what I call taking back cabas. Taking back cabas. That's what I call them. We will blame it on them. That is the fact. So, this is the best chance we the poor citizen have ever gotten. Fula and his men is killing us everywhere. Boko Haram is running, running wide everywhere. Buhari is, is doing nothing about it. Corruption explodes. If we cannot win, or we cannot take our country, or we the voiceless cannot rise up and win in this 2019, tell me another year that you're going to win. Tell me another year that you're going to win. Arm robbers everywhere. What have you seen? There are videos I cannot even show here. A lot of video. Then you see this monkey. Monkey is parading one side. Why another monkey? The checker monkey. Crackhead. APC national chairman. Kuke. I, I, I told you, I heard it in high every day. A reliable source. Oshomule is a, a Kuke smoker, a Kuke sniffer. Oshomule, APC, Buhari is not fighting drug. Buhari is not fighting corruption. Buhari have just put Oshomule, one of the Kuke consumer of all time, according to the reliable source, 100%. Any no day, Oshomule doesn't hide. No day. Then you see Obasanjo. Who knows what Obasanjo is doing? After he do this one, these are the three two people destroying Nigeria now. Hold on, hold on. Let me show you. You will see it. You will see two people. We know one thing. When you are eating gari like monkey, it's either something happen. Watch. That one, your Baba. See ya. Wait. I never see. Wait. Hey, whoa. Iba. Iba. Oh, pass it, John. See ya. She pass it. Where did they head? 
You see, these are the rulers of Nigeria. One thing that would make you be soaky gari, be eating gari like any other thing. Watch. You know what he once monkey don't carry banana, he go look right, he go lift left, he will look like innocent. Watch Obasejo. Tell me why Obasejo is eating gari, soaky gari like like war brafa war have begin again. Nigerian civil war begin. Tell me what did Obasejo did? <laughs> Gary, for Basajo to allow you to video him while eating like I don't know what to call him. You must have known he's under influence of something. That is where Nigeria have become. Then it's not over. I don't even want to show this. I do not want to even show this. No, I do not want to show this. If I show this. A lot of people is going to cry. So it is better for me. There, you watch this. These are Nigerian youth. This is why I cried yesterday. Every day now they make me cry. This is Nigerian youth. At the end of the day, after Oshomule disappoint them, they will rush to Libya or Morocco. They will close this day. I will not be crying for them. Then we will be the one crying for them. We will be saying they are innocent, not knowing where they have used their hand to cause in Nigeria. As you can see, brothers and sisters, where are we going to start from? These are the youth. Their parents are suffering in the village. They don't have electricity. Most of them are doing kidnapping. Most of them are doing armed robbery. 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 After they will go and say Oshomole must rule, at the end of the day, they will enter road and be committing robbery. Tomorrow, they catch them, either they run to Libya or they run to Morocco. They will be pitying them. When they bring them back home, you will be sending money home for faith church or faith charities. After they have used their hand to create problem. They will we be the person that will still be responsible for their failure. Knowing fully well what they are doing, it is bad and they see it is wrong. But they will continue. Just like a day youth, Tony Kabaka, Abeto, how they are promoting these two Paul, these two criminals, these two criminals, I don't know what to call them, dictators. They promote them like tomorrow will never come. But power is not forever. Power is not forever. Who could have thought when Babangida removed Buhari, 
that a day will come, Babangida will be sitting in a wheelchair. Buhari will not be the one telling how many security Babangida will have. So how how do you know tomorrow? If me, no let that be, will not be the one commanding where security should be in Edo State tomorrow. How will you know that? You can't tell. We all that is watching this video now, and me that is broadcasting, who can tell us who will be the richest man at the end of the day? Can anybody say it? No. Who will be the most powerful person? Can anybody say it? No. Nobody know. We all know where we come from, but no one know where we are going. No one know where we are going. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm to... You know what I'm showing you this. As you think you are supporting this Abetu and uh, Obaseki talks, you think you are supporting them. Uh, Mega come with your talogbe into the talk. Know fully well when you go to Nigeria. These talks that is working for them, they are being underpaid by them. Very soon, Abetu will build a hotel, five star hotel. He will have talks, another gang of Tony Kabaka terrorist group. And they will be committing robbery. They will be committing kidnapping. Who are they going to rob? It is you that will go home. You that will go home. Whatever you sow is what you're going to reap. Iraq Aro. That is what I want to let you all know. So this one man, when they want to kill the man, the man will begging them. He used the blood of his children to beg them. Is there? But they, they have they didn't have mercy on him. They went ahead and killed him. Killed the man. Upon all the beg he was pleading while they were using brick to kill him. So if you think you are supporting Governor Godwin Obaseki, or you are supporting Buhari because you want to be connected to Governor. You want to be connected to Governor. When the Governor Sariman was the president of uh, Professor Sariman, Governor of Edo State, I didn't pack and go to Edo State. I didn't. I was invited to come, but I didn't go. I didn't. You want to be close to Governor. In the name of I know governor. But at the end of the day, you go to Nigeria. If it don't matter, if you like send one million, send eight million, go there and see. You will not even go close to the government marshal. So if you think you are in abroad, that if you leave now, if you support them now, you continue to attack mega comrade, or you continue to attack Shore. When I saw the video of a man today, my brother, you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have done that. At least you, my number is published everywhere. You should have called me, asked a question, like I did before this problem of Obasaki started. After he reported to me, who I cannot even call his name now, then I called Obasaki. I asked a question. At least you should have called me, asked a question. What is your way doing? You know, I am close to the to the movement. I will tell you. But for you to go on social media, to go and try to delay or drain the hope of the poor, you are not contesting. You cannot even go for chairman. You cannot go for a uh, 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 house of assembly. You cannot go for a governor. Eh? You are not going for anything. Eh? The only person that have courage to come out, then you are insulting him. He has not even entered office oh, because you want attention. My brother, I hope you think twice. Because he or she who fight a run away will need to fight another day. She wouldn't have not done anything wrong to you. You just started giving, sending a cheap shot on him. 
I did not start insulting Oba Seki because I want to. It's because when he jail Kochi Serosa Ubo without trial, and he jail Kola Adopayi without bail, without trial, and he continued to destroy those states, I called him, I speak, I speak with the governor, I pleaded with him, I begged him, he lied to me. He lied to me. You can ask him. He lied to me. Then when he was caught, he lied. Then I insulted him. So, one day I'm going to show up my second phone number. All the telephone number. I will share show my phone number. I will share all three of my second phone number that I have. Then I will ask the poor citizen to be calling them. They will have to go and be changing their phone number every time. I'm going to be a big headache to them. Unless they leave us alone. Unless they leave us alone and let my people go. There are many ways. After all, I learned this from Donald J. Trump. You remember when he gave out the number of senator out grazing senator Lizzie Graham, Lizzie Graham of South, I think South Carolina or North Carolina. Donald J. Trump taught me that when a leader are not doing what they are supposed to do, you release their number out to the public. A presidential candidate bring out the number of a senator and say, "Call this man. He's a useless man." So, if I do it tomorrow, now people all this in ground, they're gonna be saying, Hey, you just release government number. Hey, I don't be good. Hey, I don't be good. But they have no idea. They don't have idea how it works. I am not food is ready to compete or food is ready comrade. When I'm for you, I am for you. If I sense any discrepancies, I will, if I speak with you privately, and I tell the team privately, they are not listening. I will come to social media. I will let the world know. Should the case, if you are gas, people will know that I am innocent. The mega Congress said this some days ago. As we understand, the election is about time. We have eight months to election. For those who want to make change? Who want to join the team? It is time for you to join join the team. If you have any contribution, you can contribute to Team Sowere. Do it. Don't be outside and be making noise. Come inside. What you think that is wrong with Team Sowere? Come and join. Come and join us and face it. Then for you to go on social media and be insulting a man that have not even been in any office. Who is struggling? Try to help us. Eh? You can never be president. You are not ready to be president. You don't want to run for anything. We don't know who the boy. The boy is here. Then you see some Yoruba. Then I will call them. Eh, no, he never called me. So you are waiting for more election order to call you. Hey. Oh, wow. How many of you bore record before you vote him? How many of you, President Barack Obama, Senator Barack Obama called? How many of you, Donald J. Trump called in America? Then another one called. Uh, I went to school with Shawara. I said, good. Okay. Uh, we are trying to do fundraising for Shawara. If you want to be a party, say no, I just want the link how I can reach him. You can reach him, join the team. Let us when we do four reasons, your is gonna come, you're gonna to speak to him, you're gonna uh, join the team and say, Who am I? I said, This is Mega Combre. Is that your name? I said, ah. Do you know my name? He said, No. Okay, I'm telling you my name. Uh, but I know uh, what are you talking about? Uh, I need, uh, I said, uh, uh, you know what? Those are the problem of Nigeria. They think they know. And they have no idea. So, 
I am very happy one way because we are going to run against Adam Ali Oshomole. We are going to run against Governor Godin Obaseki. We are going to run against Rocha Sokorocha. We are going to run against Tonobu. We are going to run against their father, their father, the father of all full and yes men. President Mohammed Mumu Buhari. So that is a good name. President Mohammed Mumu Buhari. Because if Mohammed is not Mumu, the hospital he commissioned in Edo State till now is not functioning. It's not functioning. How can Mohammed Buhari be fighting, fighting drug? When APC, uh, at least you, this is a reliable 100%, reliable source. Allegedly, Oshomule was even high a few days ago with crack cocaine. Now it's not leading APC. Tell me where APC is going. If you are going to church, you are APC, you are a pastor. Why will you let your big leader be a drug addict? And you will go to church and be preaching against smoking cigarette. Eh? So I am telling all, please share this video. I am calling on all pastors, bishop, prophet, to boycott APC. Ushomule 100% guarantee informant. Oshomule was even under the influence of crack cocaine a few days ago. Is that what you're going to invite to your church? A drug addict? A dictator? Criminal? Who goes around with thugs and terrorists like Tony Kabaka? Is that who you want your children to look like? And you are a prophet, you are a pastor, and you are preaching the word of God, and you are going to you are going to vote for APC, and the leader is a drug addict, a crack okay, a junkie. <laughs> I pray to Nigeria, my country, to be faithful, loyal, and honest. Not be so again. I pray to Nigeria, my country, APC, to continue to take drug and smoke and sniff. Crack okay, methamphetamine, heroin, opium, and many more. If you like, carry one billion of Edo State money. 30 billion after he built a mansion of 10 billion. Here is this man who have been fighting, who have wrote a petition against Oshomule House, the mansion that he built. Nobody have given him ear or eye. Let me play it for you. I think the man is here. I told you people, watch. Of his children will leave America and where they are. He said they none of Oshomule children will leave Nobody. America and go and be residing in Yanomo. And that of is his children will leave America and where they are to go and reside of his children will leave America and where they are to go and reside in the Yam. Nobody will do that. Now, why should he waste our own resources to build a house, 10 billion naira worth of a house in a village? What is he using it for? If anybody says it's a lie, the house is in existence, you can visit there. I have taken one agency called the Combat Blue, I must be specifically, to show them the property. The Code of Combat Blue has the photograph of the property. If they are back to my own. All the properties are, including the one of Okoroto Street, that he took from the University of Benin and paid a pin note to the state government 23 million naira. That he acquired all the buildings in the knowledge and the land. A land in that environment is more than one hundred something million. 
they shall change us again. And that value of that house is more than 500 billion naira. As I become my own petition, I'm not talking of today. So you can see that so many things have been done by him. Comparing his salary as a governor, effective governor of the district, his salary is 600, I mean 600,000 naira a month. That is 6,000 so, naira a month by eight. You can see that. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Tomorrow you people will be calling. Hey, how about talk with Baba? My hair will look. Don't see me now. Not be our father because of this one. Make you not understand now. Now, now, hand, now, tell the greatest problem now. The youth. Any man won't be in a year. So you expect our Oba opening to come out and say, I am not supporting Abasaki again. I am not supporting Oshimole again. You can you do that without where you will not do it if that is what you're waiting for, you will wait for a long time. So it is time for you to get up, stand up, fight for those who cannot fight for themselves. That's all I have for you today. So, APC, congratulations. For be able for be able to have a, a chairman, national chairman, on a post. Who know how many of them uh, sniff cooking together? Yes, reliable sauce. Even where they are buying it, where they buy the cooking bin. I heard even the agency. Some of them are aware, but they cannot talk. Nobody dare try the politician. They are worse than the military. So that is all I can say. Uh, but no, Obama did not build us with a uh, 10 billion naira. No way. Uh, Oshomole have done it, and I know people are clapping hand. I feel for them. Uh, I don't blame them. I don't blame. But I don't blame them. Blame them. They they are amigo talongwe. They no na oh atalo. So another thing I want to let people know. Sometimes in life. When you are carrying a grown man, you are training a grown man, you're trying to make him become a real man. Sometimes you see that and ask yourself a question. You cannot do it all for him. So you got to teach him like what monkey, you know? So, so, then you have to let him or her know that nothing is free in this world. If I love you and I'm doing everything for you, don't take advantage of it. When you take advantage of it, I will teach you a lesson. I will let you learn it in a hard way. That is the fact. It don't matter if you are my son or you are my brother or you are my sister or whatever you are. Don't take advantage of opportunity. When you have an opportunity, don't abuse it. Respect it. You know? Respect it. You know? One man work, all my get paid is not good. Don't leave the work for me to be doing while I am dying internally. But publicly, people are looking at ah, it's all way. It's not all way at all. So, I love you. I'm going to be seeing you on Monday. Please, uh, support Comrade Omoye Leshowore. If you know you know how to campaign, you know what to do, please contact me. If you have won, if you have been in any political party that is a winning winning team, if you have belonged to any winning team, call me. Call me, definitely call me. I will connect you to the people. We need people that who can help us. You know? So that is it. I love you. God bless you. Uh, oh yes, uh, yes. They are coward. They are coward. If let me show you what they are, what, what can you imagine? A terrorist going around governor, going at, at that point, Marshall school. Can you imagine? Agbo governor. 
Obaseki is going. Tell the people he's studying in America. Obaseki have no one degree in America. Obaseki, there's no evidence of Obaseki school in America. We have investigated and the report that have came and we have confirmed it from from Obaseki family who knows him very well. Obaseki could not even spend two years in America. Obaseki are those who are supposed to live in Brooklyn for a few months and go home trying to Americanize themselves. Fake. So for those that are saying Obaseki study in America, it's a lie. Obaseki did not go to one school in America. It's a criminal. Obaseki is architect of Ponzi scheme. You see how he scammed the old Nigeria now. Yes, I said it. Obaseki. We have no one evidence of where Obaseki spent two years in America. No way. Zero. He's not a citizen. I don't even think he has a green card. Now. And you see this food is ready to compete. Agmonima, I, I used to like that man. And uh, it's unfortunately that uh, if you are, if you know uh, Honorable uh, EJ, uh, your, what, is, uh, what is his name? A uh, uh, representative of Ego, Ipobaga, tell him he need to contact PFM as soon as possible. If anyone knows him, tell him he need to contact People Freedom Movement as soon as possible. As soon as possible, he need to come. I bubble not be no man. Don't bite the finger that fed you. When people EJ, when people help you, you, you that do you that even left America. You left America, you went there, you want to block our way. You went there and become one of the food is ready to compete. Tomorrow they will say American people that is how they are. So you need to call people freedom movement as soon as possible. That is that is just a message I want to send to you. I don't want you to be in listen, don't be inside, don't be in, don't be in our negative list. Too. It would be very hard. You know how we do it in America. You know how it's done. Once you are opposition, we will oppose you to the end. You know how it's done. You know it. Thank God. You are a US citizen. And you are in Nigeria. Instead of you to carry what you learn in America to Nigeria, instead you went there and get the orientation of corruption. Now you want to be corrupt, right? How does that sound? It sounds bad, right? It's not fair. It's not fair. So don't damage it for us. We have a lot of Africans who are here, Nigerians, who are working very hard, who want to go back home and do the right thing, but people like you, it's making it difficult for them. It's not fair. You know what I'm saying? So God bless everyone. I love you. Thank you. Good night.